everybody it's about half past seven this morning but it's feeling like it's half past six because the clocks went back yesterday so yeah i'm looking pretty pretty tired but anyway good morning and welcome to my day in the life vlog this vlog tells the story of what it's like for a mum with a one-year-old what a normal day sorry about that noise he's playing with the door Stop it. What a normal day is like for us when we're at home together. We haven't got any exciting plans today. It's a really normal day. I've got to go to the doctors at four o'clock. That's my only plan. So we'll just have a normal day. We'll probably go to the park, go to the swings, take the dog out. He's just had his milk. Here he is. He has his milk sort of as soon as he wakes up. Um, because he woke up at seven, he'll probably want a nap about 10 o'clock. So between now and 10, it's just sort of playtime really with breakfast somewhere in between. Yeah, let's get on with the morning. Are you go in. <laughs> fish, you want to see the fish? Say fish. Good boy. You can't see the fish, it's cold. He said his third, first word fish at the weekend and now all he wants to do is go out there and look at the fish. Where's the fish? I know, I know you want to see the fish, but it's too cold. So I'm just going to make Leo some eggy bread because that's his favourite and I've got a bit more time this morning. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't do this every morning. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make this while he's running around, trying to get in the cupboards. down about 15 minutes ago and now it's 10 o'clock so he usually naps for about an hour and a half I've had a shower I've put a little bit of makeup on so I'm feeling a bit more human now I think I'm gonna get a few bits done around the kitchen tidy up a little bit and then I'm gonna try and put my feet up while he's asleep I usually spend the whole of his nap time just running around getting things done and actually I really need to learn to relax while he's sleeping because now that he's running around I cannot relax while he's awake <laughs> so yeah let's just wait for him to wake up now so I wanted to put the slow cooker on for some dinner for this evening but I realized it's dirty and in the dishwasher so I've turned the dishwasher on so I'm just gonna have to wait for that now and I've got my feet up and I've got Towie on iPlayer last night's Towie so I'm just going to sit and enjoy this, I think. The living room is still a mess, but there's just no point tidying up because he'll just mess it up again when he wakes up. <laughs> He's woken up from his nap, so we're just walking to the park to go to the swings. Trevor is with us. Come on, Trevor. Come on. Go to the toilet. 
laziest dog in the world. He's in a good mood, so hopefully he'll enjoy the swings. Trevor won't enjoy the walk because he never does. Trevor! Honestly, lazy. Also, it is so sunny today and warm. I've wrapped us both up in coats, but I really don't think we needed to. It's such a beautiful day, as you can see. I'm so sorry if all you can hear is Bulldog snorts. He is so loud and he is getting a bit old now, so he can't really walk as far as he used to. He gets quite out of breath. So just going to the swings and back is long enough for us. But yeah, we're nearly there now. Whee! Sometimes he likes the swings, sometimes he doesn't, but looks like we like them today. Trevor's chilling in the shade, having a rest, and we're enjoying the swings. Is that fun? well from the park we had a really good time he enjoyed the swings um, he must have been enjoying it because he had a tantrum when I put him back in the pram so that's a good sign <laughs> actually all he wanted to do was just run around and it was really muddy there so I just thought well we can do that in the garden so now we've come home for lunch he is munching on some cucumber with some hummus at the moment We've got a little bit of that. We've got some pasta. And then for pudding, we've got some strawberries. Lucky boy. Lovely lunch for you. Does anyone else find that they make their children the most healthy, yummy meals? And then when it comes to your lunch or dinner, I'm just like, I'll have a cookie. I don't know why I'm like that. I take all the time to make sure he eats well. And I just couldn't care less about myself. <laughs> Not good, especially when you've got a holiday next week. I need to, I need to stop. So yeah, we're going to enjoy our lunch and we'll see you in a bit. man is busy playing with the washing machine I'm gonna put the slow cooker on so that we've got dinner ready for later in time for when he eats I'm putting in two of these so 800 grams of diced beef these are amazing the Schwartz slow cooker mixes it makes it taste really really good so I've got the beef and tomato casserole mix a can of chopped tomatoes and then um, some of the Aldi frozen veg. I'm going to be putting in frozen diced white onions, sliced mixed peppers, and a bit of butternut squash. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm going to try this one today. This is sort of my go-to slow cooker look. <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. yeah, and you like it, don't you? So, yeah, going to get dinner ready. to lunch now I still haven't eaten but I'll wait till he naps as usual I wanted to set up uh, his ball pool in the garden because it was so lovely and sunny but the Sun's just gone in and it feels a bit cold now but I'm still gonna set it up in the living room uh, it's huge <laughs> but he loves it again excuse the noisy dog I just had to show you his auntie got it well my auntie his great auntie got it for him um, and she made this bag with the little bunnies on to keep all of the balls and the ball pit inside. It's just so cute. He 
has just gone down for his second nap of the day at half past two and I'm gonna sit down and have some lunch. I don't know if you can really call toast lunch but I'm calling it lunch today. It's suddenly got cold so I've just put my dressing gown back on. It's gone from feeling like summer when we were out this morning to feeling really cold again. He's been asleep for about 10 minutes. I've unloaded the dishwasher, loaded it back up, put on his steriliser and put on a load of washing. It's amazing what you can do in 10 minutes. I'm going to try and spend the rest of this nap time relaxing. Me and Clint started watching The Revenant last night on Netflix and we couldn't make it to the end. So I'm going to see how many minutes of this I can watch before he wakes up. So we're just having for dinner what was in the slow cooker today. I've just whizzed it up for him. So, well, you saw it earlier. It was beef and veggies. So he looks like he's enjoying it. <gasps> yeah. What are you doing? Careful. We've had our dinner now and we're just chilling, playing, listening to some nursery rhymes, story of my life and just waiting for bath time really. I didn't mention before that his second nap was so long, it went on for like an hour and a half and he was still asleep and I had to go to the doctors so I had to wake him in the end. But yeah, all good, we just needed um, some malaria tablets, careful, for our holiday next week. Um, so I was just trying to sort that out. So yeah, we're just gonna... <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're just gonna chill and play now till bath time. And he's gonna try and steal the camera now. Who's that? Who's that gorgeous boy? Hey! No. I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. We just got out of the bath. We're just having our milkies. In the night garden is on, of course. And we're just gonna chill on the sofa, have a cuddle and go to bed and then the night is my own. <laughs> but as I said, this was not a very exciting day. This was supposed to be a normal day for a mum that's on her own at home with a young baby. But don't forget to click subscribe before you go and give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye.